Right now is the time when many students are receiving admit for German universities. They are planning to do their bachelor's, their master's, some of them are planning to do their language courses and so on. And in many of these scenarios, you might need a blocked account. Again, as a visa requirement, either you have to show a sponsorship letter, which is supposed to be from some of the relative, somebody who can vouch for you, who is living in Germany, has a job, so that they can take care of your costs. Or in most of the other cases, you have to show a blocked account. The concept behind blocked account is very simple. The German government wants to ensure that when you're living in Germany, you have money every single month so that you can take care of your expenses. And this is important because otherwise, if you simply show money in a normal account, you can simply put the money inside and then afterwards you can take the money out. This actually used to be a very big problem. And I even know right now, like after I came to Germany, I finished my master's and everything, I would talk to other students. In some foreigners' offices, there would be students who just want to show money in their current account because when you come to Germany, you would realize that even though in the starting, it looks like rules are going to be same everywhere, but sometimes on the basis of the previous experience a particular foreigner's office has or an Ausländer's behavior has, they say, okay, for the second year, maybe you don't need to show a blocked account, right? But this is very individual. For the first year, everybody needs to show the blocked account. So what used to happen in those cases was that there would be some students who would just pool the money together from other bank accounts and then afterwards, as soon as they have the visa appointment, they would take the money out and that's it. Now this started causing problems because when the government realizes, when the authorities realize that you're involved in something like this, which is clearly illegal because you have to have the money ongoing, you know, 931 euros or 863 euros, whatever it is going to change to in the future. So that money you need to have every single month. If you're just like showing it, you're like, you know, just faking it and uh, you don't really have the money, it is going to cause problems. And there were cases where students also got deported. So don't do any legal stuff. Just do things normally. If you need to show a blocked account, make a blocked account. And this is going to be the case for most of the students who are coming to Germany for the first time. If you're already living in Germany, you want to extend your blocked account, you can also very easily do that with Expatrio and it is very simple to do. Everything can be done directly online. The blocked account provider that we absolutely love at Parad in Germany is Expatrio and we have been working together with them since a very long time. You remember all of the exclusive webinars that we made with Dom when the COVID hit all of a sudden and there was such chaos of information out there and we were regularly there every single month to tell you what is the latest updates and how the laws are changing and so on so that you can prepare yourself better. So we have really good experience. The company is very transparent and the customer support is also very nice. If you're sending a question, you hear back from them in maximum 48 hours and that's very convenient in case you're having any kind of questions. The blocked account process in itself is very smooth. Everything is done online and you can get your confirmation within maximum of two to three days. And we have even seen cases where the blocked account confirmation hits the same day or the next day. This was posted in Bharat in Germany Facebook group from one of our students, Hate Jan and um, he said that he received the blocked account confirmation within one day and I'm going to read out his story to you. Received blocked account confirmation within one day. Completed the process yesterday around 2 p.m. So hit transfer all of the money and got email from Expatria about 06 form just now around 10.30 a.m. So this is like including all of the time zone differences and so on. This is something which was done like, you know, very quickly and just within like 12 hours. The main thing is as soon as the money has been completely transferred from your private account or your remittance provider, as soon as it hits Expatrio's account, you will get the confirmation right away because everything is automated. There are no people like, you know, sitting in the back of the end, like doing things, everything is very simple and in case there are some kind of like issues or something you can also like i said contact the customer support very easily all right so how do you open a blocked account with expatrio now you have the option of either opening a blocked account or you can go for a value package value package has multiple different things which are all very useful to you and you also save some money there so when you go to expatrio's website you can simply go to value package and when you go to value package you will be able to see what kind of things are available here so for example you will get first of all a 49 euro cash back when you activate your health insurance and you also have incoming insurance free up to 92 days and this is accepted by the german authorities too like nobody has ever had any kind of problems with them and many people have confusion that okay like they ask for a validity of 180 days Yes, the insurance is valid for 180 days, but the first three months is for free. 
most of the students when they come to Germany they anyways do not need their travel health insurance when they come to Germany like within the first month itself they are able to get their public health insurance so they don't need this anymore and this is the reason it is free for three months not just for one month or for six months because this still leaves some kind of room for you in case like some process gets delayed or something it's very easily doable and you can very easily select the time when this insurance starts so that's also very convenient Germany's best public health insurance provider. So I was with them when I was a student in Germany. It's called Techniker Krankenkasse and it's actually a very nice public health insurance company and you also have support in English when you need. So that's also very nice. You have a free current account. Current account is also something that you can choose on your own, but you just get as a bonus in this package if you want to choose. Then you get free ISIC card. With ISIC cards, you get some kind of benefits, student offers, wherever you're going, you will be able to see all of that directly online. So when you want to get the value package, you simply click on get value package. Then afterwards, it will ask what will you be doing in Germany. Simply let us know what your profession in Germany will be. Please take care and differentiate between student if you will be or are studying at university in Germany and a language student. The biggest difference here is that language students, if you're coming on a language visa, language visa is a non-convertible visa. That means once you are coming for a language visa, you have to go back and then afterwards you have to apply for a student visa. It's different than a conditional admit. If you're coming with the conditional admit, you don't need to go back. You take your classes first and then afterwards with the condition that you have from a particular university that once you do XYZ level, then afterwards you can start studying in the university it fulfills that so once you're done with the language you don't have to go back and you can start studying right away so here you can select if it is um, university student master language student student colleague uh, study applicant that's the one i'm talking about that is like you're uh, coming as a with a conditional admit exchange student university student bachelor university student master and so on and i know for most of us it is going to be either university student bachelor or university student master so you can choose either of these then afterwards they talk about the age range at least 18 younger than 23 years old at least 23 younger than 30 years old so you can choose what range fits then afterwards do you have a child you can select that and then afterwards it is going to show you the amount now here you see that the initial setup fee is 49 euros and service fee is 60 euros. This is calculated per month. So for example, if you're going to just choose six months, it is going to be 30 euros. So this is five euros per month. But again, you make it for one year. So you pay only 60 euros. The 49 euros, the setup fee is given back to you. This means you get your blocked account, you get your private health insurance, you get your ISIC card and you get multiple other things just for 60 euros and when you want to extend it for example you go to the foreigners office and they say you also need to show us the blocked account for the second year again you can very simply extend it with expatriate itself they are going to give you new details for depositing the amount and then you also have the blocked account for the next year and again five euros per month is the fee that you'll be charged and this is very very nice when you compare with other blocked account providers on the market especially that everything is so fast and everything is so simple and automated now another important thing for example you receive from your university a letter stating that the blocked account amount that you have to show is not 861 euros but 863 euros or 931 euros because again right now is the time of a little bit of change some universities are already going towards the higher blocked account number which is 931 euros and other universities are resisting right now so this is going to be more dependent on the university unless we get an overall guideline from the German government itself that the new blocked account amount is going to be 931 euros per month. Of course when that comes I will update you on the YouTube channel but until that statement comes from the German government but unless that comes we will go with what is written on the student visa checklist which is 861 euros per month. So here if it is a different amount you can easily change it you can write 931 euros per month so then you can put these details inside and then you will see the new amount and again they will have a buffer of 100 euros in case there are some kind of conversion fees some kind of other charges whatsoever generally that is not the case but in case there is something they want to make the process simpler for you that means they don't want you to go through the entire process again like you know initiate the payments and so on so there's a buffer here added and this buffer of course is your own money so you will get this money back with the last payment of the blocked account and then you will have the entire balance at zero 
So this is a very simple process. And once you create an account here, you will see a dashboard in which you will have different kinds of documents which will be available for you. You will also have the payment details and everything. The process in general is super simple. So this is pretty much all that there is to a blocked account. You have an account which is based with a provider in Germany. And this provider is going to give you a fixed amount of money every single month so that there are no fake scenarios where all of a sudden students show a lot of money in their bank account and all of a sudden that money is gone and they're not able to pay their bills. So this is like a safeguard which is put up by the German government so that they know that at least when the students are going to Germany for their studies, that they're going to Germany for their studies and that they're able to focus on the studies and they don't have to worry about these other things. So I hope this video helps you. If you have any kind of questions whatsoever, you can let me know. And if you're in the process of opening a blocked account, you can use my referral link below, which is given in the description. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.